Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. This is New Cap News with Annika Notveit. North Battleford RCMP are on the lookout for a suspect in an armed robbery that happened early Saturday morning. This man entered the business on the 1700 block of 100th Street around 6.30, brandishing a long-barreled gun and demanding cash. He then fled through the back alley with an undisclosed amount of money. Three employees and one customer were in the business at the time and none of them were injured. The suspect is an adult male wearing a red hooded jacket, blue jeans and tan boots. If you have any information about the incident, you're asked to call North Battleford RCMP at 306-446-1720. The Lloydminster EMS responded to a single vehicle rollover in the city around 8 o'clock Saturday night along 50th Avenue. Police were surveying the scene. A witness told Newcap News he saw the red pickup truck accelerate quickly while turning left onto 50th Ave from 36th Street. The truck fishtailed and then rolled twice into the ditch and the driver managed to crawl out of the window or out of the vehicle rather. The young male driver was the only one in the truck when it happened and police say his minor injuries were treated on scene. The Lloydminster Rotary Club is donating $1,000 to the Bobcats for Project Keep Straight. This is the worst place in Canada, the hardest streets. I've been to every city and by far the worst neighborhood, or the poorest neighborhood in Canada. This is it. Right. The project gives players an up-close look at crime and drug addiction in one of Canada's worst neighborhoods, East Hastings. They then use the education they received from the experience and deliver it to children in schools. I think in our city here we know we do have a problem. It's maybe not as out in the open as say East Hastings and Vancouver type of thing, but uh, I think it's really important that the children learn this in high school and on, even at an earlier age. Candace Lechteman with the Bobcats says the donation means a lot. It helped get four players to Vancouver. She herself has lost friends to drugs for, and the program hits home. I have a teenage daughter and I don't want to see her go through anything that I've ever had to feel and I just hope to keep people off the streets and out of drugs. This is the first time the Bobcats have participated in the Keep Straight program and the president of the Rotary Club hopes to see it continue. Have you ever wondered how much you could buy at the grocery store in three minutes? Well, one lucky winner of the fifth annual Sobeys shopping spree was given a chance to answer that question this morning. The contest is a fundraising initiative put on through the Lloydminster Area Brain Injury Society. The prize is $1,000, but the winner has a short three minutes to spend it. It's exciting and, and to run around and grab a bunch of free stuff. We make the draw, and, and that's usually about two weeks before it happens, so they have a chance to come and case the place out and decide. This year's winner, Connie Angutitaru, had some items prioritized even before the clock started canting down. Mostly the meat. <laughs> And a little bit of um, lunch stuff for the kids. Angu Titaru ended up being $117 over her $1,000 budget. She says she'll continue to support Labus and try her luck at the contest again next year.